welcome to Gabo and Natty in Australia. Uh, today I'm making a video, random one. I want to show you what I got. You guys will not believe what I got. It's actually very funny. Oh my, you might find it funny. Anyways, I got this amazing box. I haven't even washed my face today, so don't judge me. This makes me very excited. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go get scissors from the um, office. And we are going to open this. I'm singing already because I'm so excited. Okay, I don't have anywhere to put this, my phone. So I'm just gonna put it on the table. Okay, so this is the delivery I got. My tongue is going out. This is actually the Happy Life portable bathtub. Oh my god. Why is this so difficult? I usually do it fast. Probably because I'm on camera anyway. I cannot believe how excited I am about this. This is it! Boom! Look at this. Probably Chinese letters. Beautiful Chinese letters. This is a portable bathtub, like I said. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it. This actually makes me so excited. It's because Gabo and I don't have a bathtub in Australia but I've been like obsessed with having having a place to soak more than having a bathtub so it comes like this it's like a mini pool guys so it comes with the instructions book but it's actually very self-explanatory so I didn't really need it that much I did give it a look uh, and at the back of it it shows you the other products they have Okay, this is it. And the poles are inside. Six poles. And that's about it. And it comes with like a little sticker so that you can fix it if you need to. If it has a hole or whatever. So, it also comes with a little pump. How cute is this? I'm so excited about it. I think I've said that so. And. Pretty big and so exciting. The ovens are pretty wide actually. I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but it's got like this texture like roses or something. And that's very nice. I didn't inspect that, so that's good. Um, and it also comes, I've already read online, with this thing that you inflate that can actually either be a pillow or a sip but of course you see it on and it also comes with this that is basically like the photo shows um this part if you actually wear that and your head goes through there and you close it and it's so that the heat of the um water doesn't escape how cool is that okay so this is the actual um thing that comes for you to put on top of the bathtub um, you can use those openings for your hands although I don't think that's very comfortable I already tried it uh, you put that over your head basically and close it and it gives the feel of a um, sauna so it keeps the the heat and the warmth inside and also keeps your bath uh, very warm for at least an hour and a half it also comes with this tool for you uh, to use. You connect it to the bathtub and basically you connect the other part to the drain so it makes it easy for you to drain it. So I'm going to show you. This is huge guys. It's got like a little padding at the bottom. I didn't know it would have that but it's got like it's actually very cushiony compared to the top of course. So this is the bottom of the tub and oh wow it's huge. That's actually big. That is the part that is actually cushiony, which I'm actually very thankful about. This is the part that comes with the um oh, it comes with the built-in. So it's already there. So this is what you connect to this. I'm actually very excited and of course the poles that you put, like if you're really considering to get this, which a lot of people are because I read online, um hopefully you find this helpful. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and build this. Thanks for sticking around so far. Let's make this happen. Okay, manual and pump. That's all you basically need. Of course, the six poles, you need to insert them. It was a little bit difficult to do it without actually opening the tub. So that's what I did. And then I continued doing it. After that, I did have a look at the instructional manual because I couldn't believe that it was actually that easy to build. So basically you just pump up the um, ring that is at the top. That's all you do. I did consider that it was a little bit too pumped. So I kind of got rid of a little bit of the air because uh, as you know, when you put hot water into it, um, the tub actually expands. This is how you actually get into the tub. It's actually very easy. Not a lot of drama there. I was actually sitting very comfortably in there. It's very cushiony, like I said, and there's a lot of space for you to sit either on the side or cross your legs. Um, it's basically up to you because it comes with a cushion as well. That makes it very comfortable. Also, because you have the wall in the back, that means you can actually lay down a little bit. Uh, you can actually notice that the water will be to your neck if you want. So that's actually what I was going for. So that's good. It's actually very easy to come out of the tub. So don't even worry about it. You just lift one leg after the other. Easy peasy people. I'm actually kind of exhausted after doing that. Probably because I haven't had any breakfast yet. So that's it. I'm going to show you um, how it looks inside um, the shower. So patience, my people. Actually a good idea to rinse the tub before you get in because of the chemicals that it comes with, of course, of the normal plastic. So just rinse it with hot water and then you should be ready to get in and fill it up. So it was very easy to do it actually. I filled up the tub for about 15 minutes uh, till it was like a little bit less than halfway. And that was actually enough for me to cover my till my neck. So I think that's good. Also, you're saving uh, money and water resources as well if you do that. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you. Click subscribe and like this video. Share it if you want to. Thanks for watching. Bye.